Hello everyone, welcome on a new tutorial on Spark AR. This time I had a request on Instagram and I want to try to remake it. So if you have any requests, please comment me below and let me know what you want to see next because I'd be really glad to satisfy your requests. So this time we're going to make this aesthetic grainy filter with the frame and uh, real user date and time. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. So we need Photoshop. I had to download a new version of Photoshop and it's in Italian, I don't know why, but open a new document, make sure it's 375 to 667, make sure the background is transparent and click OK. You get here, you open a new layer, click on that, make sure you are on white and just click on the background and make a white background. Now, grab a lasso tool and start drawing like this for this purpose, this kind of burn, like cut to the effect. I'm just gonna go dirty. You can do way better, of course. Like, take your time and do some cool things. Now that you have this, you click right and you go select inverse. Click right again. Oh no, you just press delete at that point. There you have it. So now we're going to, well, let's shape it a little bit more. I don't like over there. So select and press delete. And uh, yeah, that works. I just want to show you how to make it. So now let's go file, save as. Save it as PNG file, give it a name like alpha cats. All right, one year to type it in. I have already made one, so I'm gonna just save it and replace it. So let's open a new project from background template. You know, I like it most gives me already stuff I need. Let's delete replace me file. Let's delete user segmentation, user material, and the user rectangle. So let's now import something from the IR library, patch assets, shaders, and then adjust colors because I wanna make it black and white. I think it works better with this kind of effect, but it's up to you, of course. Click on texture and drag in camera texture and adjust color, patch it in just like this. Turn the saturation down to minus one, if you want it black and white. And here we have our first layer. Let's gonna duplicate it, rename it as frame let's go change and create a new material click on the new material rename it as frame material I'm just trying to keep tracks on what we're doing put the material on flat go on alpha add new texture and we're gonna choose our texture we just made on photoshop open it up this is what we happen. What happened? You can't really see it. I'm gonna turn my camera on for a second. Or yeah, just changing the color maybe. You see what it's doing. I want to click invert, and that's it. That's basically it. So we're now going to make it a little bit cooler let's click on texture i want to drag another adjust color inside the patch editor patch the camera texture 
inside texture and the output in diffuse texture. Let's invert it and this looks real cool to me. Of course you can go like, you know, you can make this frame is like messy, it's not really nothing. I just, just wanted to show you how to do. You can see a little preview from my camera. I'm recording this afterwards because I don't like all the click and clock from the mouse and keyboards in tutorials and uh, since I, I don't find another way, I'm just doing it like this. So let's now add another rectangle and now we're gonna put it to full size. Create a new material and we're gonna spice it up a little bit, turn the material to flat. I want to go on Google, I was looking at tutorials as well, I always look at tutorials. Let's type in text grain or something like that, let's go to image, and uh, let's just find the cool grainy image. I like better when the main background color is dark because it works better on Spark for some reason you're gonna see why I like this one let's go with this you know just try and see if it works or not and maybe choose another image so let's import it as a texture and that's it it actually works perfect. Put it in no compression, click on the material, try the different blend modes. I like multiply and like turn the opacity down for a little bit. I like to keep this like matte effect. For, I don't know how to explain it. You see what I mean? Keep changing values, adjust your black and white to taste with saturation, contrast, brightness. And I wanna add a uh, 2D text. Go on spacing, line spacing zero from size, font size, scale to fit. And now you can move it, whatever you want. I'm gonna just put it there for now. Cancel the text. Go on dynamic text and add a uh, time long and date full. These are supported by Instagram. You can use them. You can go up there. Now we are selected on move. I wanna select uh, the scale up there and drag that blue lion up or down until you see, until you're happy with the, the size of, of the text. Let's go on text in typography and let's just put a space between those two. So as you see now we split it in time and date below. You can change the font. You can change the color. Resize it. You can also add the material if you want to make it even cooler, but I think that white just works. Or you can't clearly see uh, the text. Maybe Instagram, you know, you, you'll have issue on uploading it and stuff. So make sure if you add the text that it's clearly visible your effort will also be more enjoyable, so that's it guys, you can mess with colors, like take stuff from my previous tutorial, 
patchy and even weirder things and just like have fun on this. I'm gonna post all of this material, what I made on Photoshop and uh, also this project file. I'm gonna put um, download link in description and uh, that's it, just have fun. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing and uh, as I said, please uh, request me wherever you want and uh, of course about Spark AR and uh, I'll try to make it easy for you. Thank you again for watching, see you soon guys.